Okay, we're going to do a four wire stereo hack to a Sony S600. First thing I want to do is turn it on so the lens comes out. Now I want to take the batteries out. Let's take the battery out. It gives me access to the screw at the top of the door right here. I want to remove this screw. One here. One beside that tripod holder. Oops, drop my screwdriver. Take that screw out. Now if you pull the USB rubber part up, pull that up out, and there's one more screw right here. And we're trying to get this screw out. Okay, once that screws out, I open the door, and now I got to pull the back cover off. And it'll pop right off. I guess I shouldn't say right off. You gotta pull off a little bit on this side so it unclips at this top. There's a little clipper at the top and now it pulls right off. Now one of the things you need to do next is take a piece of small electrical tape and what we're going to do is uh, tape the LCD up so it doesn't flop around. If that thing flops around I can break the ribbon right there and really don't want to break that ribbon. So I'll put a little taper on the edge. I may end up having to clean the LCD with some cleaner afterwards but that keeps the LCD from flopping around. Okay, I'm going to do an external hack on this. So I'm going to pull up the door, and this is where it gets tricky. We're going to take off the front cover. And the reason I say tricky is we got to be very careful with this. Because <laughs> the capacitor the capacitor is right here. Now I recommend you drain this capacitor. Um, you can find the instructions on that with on the uh, S600 service manual and go by what Sony recommends to do the capacitor. I'm going to throw a little bit of tape on there just in case I would happen to get my finger over there. But as you can see, they're pointy. They'll poke through that. Uh, they'll poke through that electrical tape. I don't want to touch that. Stay away from it. Um, there's many people that. I've gotten straightened hair out of that. So, on my external hack, this is my power going into my board, and this is my common. So I'm going to run a wire to each one of these two. Okay, um, I'm going to use this as a trail cam. So, first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip the leads off the lens cover motor. I disabled them anyhow. Um, being careful back to back so I can clip those two wires too on the back side. And be careful where you stick your fingers when you roll it back around. Now grab those two wires, pull them out, throw them away. Now what I'm going to do is take my ground wire, which I'm using white, and I'm going to slip it underneath my ribbon for my lens. Okay, I'm going to take that wire and I'll bring it around there. And I'm just going to solder that right on that spot right there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a wire and bend it around. But right there on that spot, I'm going to take my iron and solder that. Okay, now we're going to put the, the power lead on. I'm just going to solder that right on. Okay, 
and then the power leads on. Okay, now for I need I want to run the uh, stereo jack in the tripod holder, so I got to remove the tripod holder. There's just one screw right there at the top, and I can pop that right out then. And let me get that screw out of there. Okay, I'm going to use, I use a uni bit, I think it's a three quarter uni bit. And I go up one step. I do this at hand because this thing is brittle. It's really thin. So I turn it with my hand, not a drill. So the last thing I want to do is break stuff. And you can see it, it's, it's cutting away. It's not real fast. Of course, this one's getting a little dull. I'm going to do that until I get um, you can use a Dremel anything you can make that hole a little bit bigger so that the stereo jack uh, will mount in there I'll show you the stereo jack here in a minute it takes a couple minutes to do this There we go. And throw. <sighs> Clean it up for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to drill a hole for those two wires. I'm right on the angled part just below the uh, lens cover switch. I'm just going to drill that out quick. Rotate around, blow the excess out of there, run my two wires through for my external. I got a little piece in there yet, I don't like it either. Now, if you're not going to use a stereo jack, you can run your servo wires out that out this hole too. Um, so I'm gonna pull these down around. Hold my Okay, I want to pull my wires. Okay, and I want to put my cover back on. Make sure my wires around. Now, I need to pull that tape out of there. Be careful not to touch it. There's two points. The door has to be open for this tab to go through. Okay. Now. Make sure they're all the way through, and my externals is done. And um, I'll put a two-wire servo on there. You can do that yourself too, or you can run it hardwired. It's up to you.